Still continuing our special coverage for the World Youth Forum in its fourth edition on its last day today from the Red Sea Resort of Sharm el-Sheikh. Our Nile TV's correspondent Hany Saif conducted the following interview with Ms. Nivin el Misiri, the CEO of Ahl Masr Foundation. Ladies and gentlemen, on the sidelines of the World Youth Forum, we're joined by Mrs. Nivin El Misiri, the CEO of Ahl Masr Foundation and Hospital. Mrs. Misiri, thank you very much for speaking to Nile TV. Thank you very much for you. It's for giving me this opportunity. Uh, Mrs. Misiri, first off, now we're talking about a lot of uh, presidential and governmental initiatives to really help push forward the uh, living standard and really raise the living standards of Egyptians. Uh, such as a decent life initiative and the Ahl Masr Foundation. Can you tell me more about the work uh, of Ahl Masr Foundation that is really focusing on the uh, living standards of the Egyptian citizens? Ahl Masr Foundation has uh, uh, great opportunities in participating in this initiative. Actually, we are already uh, participating in extending water pipelines to the uh, urban uh, communities and uh, this is also under the uh, governmental uh, review and under the governmental um, uh, auspicious of, uh, of, the, of them. So actually uh, we do uh, have already uh, yani a leg there and we also participated in rebuilding several houses in order to uh, give them uh, a life which is a uh, decent life uh, for those who have their homes not in shape. Um, recently, uh, all the NGOs have been called uh, by Her Excellency Dr. Nivin Kabbaj in order to have a role uh, which is more active and participating and measurable in terms of delivery. This will definitely make the uh, deliverables uh, uh, more uh, sound and better because not everyone has the power or has the means and resources in managing such an initiative. So this, they will distribute the initiative based on the performance, the previous performance and on the uh, continuous uh, evaluation for the performance of the uh, NGOs who are participating in this initiative. Uh, Mrs. Maseri, now uh, Ahl Masr Hospital is renowned for and is well known for its great work uh, that has been taking place over the past period. Now the health sector in general has been under a lot of pressure for the past couple of years. Has the pressure eased uh, as of now compared to uh, when the COVID-19 pandemic first started off? In, in, 19, uh, in um, 2020, Ahl Masra had a great opportunity in participating not only in uh, availing uh, extra beds for the, uh, the infected uh, people as a, as a hospital in several of the buildings we have, but also in, uh, in raising some, uh, uh, fu we made fundraising to uh, finance the whole uh, issue. Uh, this was a very pressured time, 2020. In uh, 2021, it was soft. It went easier, softer. Uh, more experience was ex in, uh, was was available in the hospitals and the doctors, and how to deal with the pandemic was more experience. More vaccines were uh, actually done, uh, and this has helped also in controlling the situation. Uh, in uh, in 2022, uh, now we are, I think, with the uh, we're approaching more, maybe the um, the uh, final stage of this uh, vac uh, this uh, pandemic, because actually we think that um, these new uh, types of uh, of uh, uh, um, uh, vi viruses that are being now spreading are weaker in terms of uh, chest attacks and so on. So we expect that by the end, we hope that by the end of 2022, things will become better. Uh, Mrs. Maseri, now, how do you feel or what would you say are your main hopes and dreams for the health sector? What do you want to see being achieved? Uh, is it in terms of facilities? Is it in terms of financing? What sort of resolutions would you like to see su such a forum reach? Uh, because we're already talking about the health sector and combating 
the uh, pandemic and the way of life after the pandemic. I have something saying which says that when you dream, dream big. So our dream is to have uh, yani, uh, a full medical coverage and insurance for every Egyptian. Uh, through hospitals which are really capable and capacities that are really uh, enough to, uh, in do, yani, to encompass any kind of infection, whether it's in the cancer, in the heart, and in the burns, uh, of course. Ahl Masr Foundation have specialized, I'd like to say, yani, this, as, is specialized in burns and trauma, and this is the first hospital in the Middle East and Africa, in Egypt, Middle East and Africa, to specialize in such a... Um, when we built this hospital, we built it with our dream that the hospital, it was an initiative uh, done by Dr. Reheba Suidi, she's the founder and the initiative, and she's the chairperson of the foundation. And actually, when she did this, she, she wanted to have uh, something for the poor, because everyone, you know, has a cancer patient or a heart patient around him. But the burns uh, yani is, is due to the not decent life. Most of burns happen because of not having a decent life. So if I tie this actually with the decent life, then Ahlamas Foundation and hospital would be working hand in hand with the government in order to uh, first spread the words and spread the culture of, of how to keep yourself safe, participating in how we can be an arm of uh, with the government to extend a decent life to these people in, a, in an approach that would hinder even burns to happen just for the sake of uh, number entertaining and information and according to um, official uh, numbers we have 51,000 burn accidents to happen each every year so actually uh, uh, the, uh, the capacity of the hospital is almost two, 201 uh, beds and it's done with a with a great great um, uh, technology, where a number of ICUs, the unprecedented, uh, which is uh, almost 40 percent ICUs in order to take care, and a strict infection control because of the, the uh, type of uh, infection that burns uh, experience. Uh, I think that this is one of the projects that uh, could be um, considered as a, a milestone. A new milestone uh, because of the unprecedented cause and because of the technology adopted uh, uh, and the uh, great initiative that was done by Dr. Hebe. Mrs. Naveen Al Masiri, uh, CEO of Ahl Masr Foundation and Hospital, thank you very much for speaking to Nile TV and very good luck with your work. Uh, thank you very much, and I would like to, to thank you for the opportunity for. Uh, yeah, and giving me the opportunity to have a voice of Ahl Mas Foundation Hospital to every Egyptian home. Keep yourself safe. Pandemics and burns and everything. Thank you very much, Mr. Maseri. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Mrs. Naveen Al Maseri, the CEO of Ahl Mas Foundation as and hospital. Now you've just heard the the great work being done by the foundation, and hopefully more work to be done and more to be achieved during 2022. I'm Henny Safe. Thank you for joining us.